What's up guys, Sean here. So today is the first time that I'm gonna use the phone with the DJI Osmo Pocket. Um, something I don't like to do, um, I used to have an Insta 361 and part of the functionality of the camera was it plugged right into my phone and kind of just dangled off the side of my phone. Um, and after using that for a little while, it stretched out the lightning port on my phone. So I don't really wanna do that with my DJI Osmo Pocket. The Osmo Pocket's even heavier than my Insta 361 was. Um, and I feel like it's just gonna stretch everything out. So what I've done is I've created a rig with a 3D print, another 3D printed part <laughs> and um, a cell phone mount. Um, and then I'm gonna have my GoPro just kind of filming the whole thing. Okay guys? So what we're gonna do today is, as you can see, it's tracking my face. Check it out guys. Oops, oops. Oh, it lost me, but it found me again, okay? So that's something that's a very key point when you're using the cell phone, is that it'll find you again. Now, if you're just using the handheld unit by itself, once you've lost it, you've lost it. But check this out, guys. I'm gonna go behind my camera, behind the GoPro. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. And see, it's tracking me again, guys. So I feel like using it with the cell phone is gonna give me a lot more confidence in this camera. Um, I've been kind of disappointed in the DJI Osmo Pocket so far, just because it keeps messing up. You know, it'll it'll like just start pointing in some other random direction, or it'll just, I don't know what it's doing. Um, but, with the cell phone, you've got plenty of screen real estate to see what you're doing. Um, my fat finger, which is the same size as the, well, that's an exaggeration. The screen on the DJI Osmo Pocket is about twice as big as my finger. So my fat finger, trying to point, double click on a tiny little face in there is really hard. Or a tiny little ball or a tiny, you know, even tapping on my son's entire body was a struggle for me. But now that you have it in the cell phone, what the cell phone allows you to do is it allows you to draw a rectangle around what you're tracking, which is a lot more functional. It's a, it's a lot better user experience. But all the things aside, today what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do a four, wait, what is it called? We're going to do a time lapse using a path and we're going to use four points. Of interest okay guys um, you can do up to four points and I figured why not guys um, it's about sunset so there shouldn't be like harsh light and harsh dark this is like kind of the golden hour so we're gonna see what's happening here um, I don't even think it matters where the Sun is right now guys because the Sun is over there um, and it's it's lost my face I don't know what's uh, again I don't know what's going on. I'm not really moving, so it's not, you know, like it's still getting a good shot. But, so what we're going to do is there's a busy intersection behind us. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a time lapse. Since we don't have any clouds, I thought the only thing that I could get to move is traffic. Okay? So we're going to move. We're going to catch the cars, you know, going home. Um, and then we're going to move over to the Marriott Hotel. And I'm thinking we might... If we, if we can, if the gimbal will turn in that direction, if it'll make it in that direction, I think we might start with that. Cause that's a beautiful building. Um, and I, I, I don't wanna do a linear path. I wanna try like a, an interesting path. Right guys? So um, we've got the GoPro filming and we're just gonna see what we can do with pathing. Okay guys? So let's check it out. Okay guys, we're gonna stop recording. We're gonna go over to time-lapse mode, okay guys? Now, at first it's kinda of hard to see how to control it, but if you go up here, we've got five seconds. Um, so with five second intervals, okay? And we're gonna record for five minutes, and that's gonna to translate to two seconds worth of video, guys. So I think I at least wanna get a minute, minute and a half for you guys. So we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna we're gonna change. 
keep five seconds. I'm okay with five seconds. And let's do 30 minutes. So that's just going to do 12 seconds. So let's change the intervals to three second intervals. That's going to translate to 20 seconds. Man, that's not long, is it, guys? So let's. So three seconds is the shortest interval we can do. Let's just do an hour. I might not stay an hour. Might cut it short. But why not? It might transition into night. It might be pretty cool. We're going to leave all the settings on auto because we're changing. We're transitioning from um, day to night. So I don't want to do this when it's. Um, I don't want to set the setting now and then all of my night shots just look like crap. Okay, guys? So we're going to do it auto and we might get some cool blurring effects once the sun goes down. I'm not sure. All right. So we got this is going to translate to a 40 second video. So I'm going to sit out here for an hour to get you guys a 40 second video. Um, so then we're going to touch the path button. Okay, guys? Um, now you've got this little joystick on the screen. Um, what the joystick lets you do is it lets you put the camera in a different spot. So I'm going to point the camera, see if we can get all the way over there. It looks like that's as far over as we can go. So we're going to add a point. Okay. Then we're going to move over to about there. And we're going to get the Marriott. I wish I could zoom in. That would be cool. Okay. That's point B. Then we're going to move over. To this point. Oh, that's not going to work. Right about. Yeah, I want that intersection. So we're going to go. I'm okay with that. That's going to be our third point. And then I think we're going to maybe fly do a fly out outro. Um Right around to the GoPro. Let's end on the GoPro. That'll be kind of fun, guys. What do you think? All right, so this is, again, this is for testing purposes. And since I'm making a YouTube video, guys, I think this is gonna be pretty cool. All right, so now that we have all that going on, we're gonna hit play and see what happens. Or I mean record, sorry. Here it goes. And we're gonna keep the metering in the middle of the screen, okay? Let's do it. All right, guys. So what it's done is it's gone to the first frame um, and then it's taken a picture. And then it's going to take another picture. And if you'll notice over here, the shutter button, guys, um, it'll take a picture. And it's taking a picture every three seconds, right? So one, two, three, one, two, three that's wait let's do this again one two three one two three so there it is guys i'm gonna let this run for a little while i'm gonna go get back in the car warm up a little bit maybe drink some coffee and uh, we'll come back to this a little bit later guys i think it's going to be pretty cool guys so I am I have nothing to do in this parking lot while this thing while this time-lapse is going on guys what was that so there's these cool lights going on so I thought we'd do like a little tiny planet 
Maybe not like a tiny planet, just me talking to you guys. Um, it's a little chilly. I got kind of a runny nose. But I wanted to show you guys how pretty this place is at night. It's really pretty. You got the neat, see the big Nissan building over there in the background? You got this guy's car, he's probably freaking out. There's one car up here. But, yeah, I thought it'd be kind of cool just to, this is what I'm doing guys, I'm riding around with, on my Segway. There's nobody up here, this is awesome. It's like a skate park for old people with their Segways. I got a little story for you guys. I was at a, I was at the skate park with my son, and uh, I went to do one of my drone videos, and I got in the Segway, I got on the Segway, and I started driving off, and this little punk kid at the skate park, he like yelled at the top of his lungs, Segway Steve, old man scooter, and I don't know guys, you guys might think the Segways are pretty lame, but I've wanted one for about 10 years, and my friend uh, Michael Stacks, Michael Esquire, um, he was, he just wasn't using his, so he, he wanted to swap, so I swapped my uh, Panasonic Lumix G7 for a Segway, I thought that was kind of a, kind of an even swap, and uh, man, I've had so much fun on this thing, um, I work right over there in that building over there, and it's so fun just to strap my backpack on. Um, my backpack has probably like eight cameras in it and a drone. <laughs> and uh, I love just, you know, there's sidewalks all over this office park. So I can just go to a different spot each day, fly my drone or do a, a video. or like, I don't even have to get in my car, which is fun, guys. Um, you know, and I, I work during the day in a... Um, you know, I have to wear, I don't have to wear dress clothes, but I have to kind of look presentable. So I can't go on a bike ride on my lunch break or, um, you know, get all sweaty. So, um, so having the Segway, it gets me places pretty fast and I might look old, but you know what? I'm in my forties. I can look old. I'm confident enough. I'm dead sexy. So it's kind of cool. So We've got a lot going on. It, it was a foggy day. I was hoping we'd have some clouds, but we don't. But anyway, let's check out the footage. Let's see what we got, guys. Alright guys, let's talk about this footage real quick. Um, overall pretty good. I bumped the tripod a couple times because I actually took my GoPro off to do other things. So if I wasn't multitasking on my tripod, this would have been a perfectly smooth shot. Um, I think overall it looks good. So you can see the blurring. So this was done with images. Um, so I was able to get the images off of the footage. And um, so we have some nice light painting going on guys and I thought it'd be kind of fun at the end to, to kind of play around on this segue but that didn't really work out all right guys that's it so that was a time lapse more of like a night lapse with the DJ Osmo pocket um, attached to the phone uh, via a cord you can get this you can get um, all the pieces I use to make this down in the description um, but yeah what do you guys think about it um, I'm still on the fence about this camera. Um, I had a guy comment today about how is the perfect, um, perfect travel camera. He loves it, um, and I don't want to down any. I don't want to down this camera, and I don't want to make you guys feel bad about your purchase. That's not what I'm here to do, guys. What I'm here to do is to give you a, an objective review about this camera that I paid for myself. Okay, guys. Um, I didn't get it pre-release. I didn't get a pre-release model with all the accessories so that I could review it the way that it was supposed to work. Um, I just bought it off the shelf. And then I realized after I bought it that 
Oh, well, crap, I gotta spend another 150 bucks to get all the accessories to make this thing work. Oh, and I have to hook it up to my phone, and I have to do this, and I have to do that. Um, the point of these videos is not to let you guys think that I don't know what I'm doing. The point of these videos is I want to treat these products like a consumer buying it off the shelf and the research that I'm doing is I'm trying to poke holes at it. I'm trying to figure out um, if a normal consumer can use this camera or not. Is it worth it to a normal consumer? All of us YouTube channels, we all know what we're doing. We know how to use cameras, that's what we do. Our hobby or our business is to play around with technology. So after a while, you understand technology at a higher level. Not because I'm smarter than you or I'm better than you, but because I focus on it and I'm playing around with it. And it's one thing to say, well, you're not using it right or the camera, you know, the lighting's not right or this is not right or that's not right. It's a bunch of crap, guys. I've done the same tests using multiple cameras some cameras just handle situations better than other cameras. Um, so hopefully you can get something out of my videos besides me just ranting. Because I don't want to be, I hate, I hate to be negative. I don't want to be a negative person. I'm a happy guy. So hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell for notifications for more videos on all the camera gears and drones and Segway adventures and all that stuff. Um, have a wonderful day, guys, or I guess it's night. Have a wonderful night, guys. Peace out.